Hey everyone, how are you doing? Martin here, one hour playthrough, and welcome to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. And um, I've did some uh, offline work, which leveled me up as well. Um, I've got two skill points to spend. However, I need three, so that's fine. Uh, what I've been up to is um, I needed some resources, and I needed. Uh, Gazer's heart or the scrap heart, but this battle back heart as well. And the reason being is I want to have new items, new equipment. Let me um, quickly go to outfits and just wear this. Whoops. And get this one off. Alright, I'm gonna sell the blue one. Alright, so outfits. I want to have the Nora Silent Hunter Heavy. We need the Bellowback Heart for that. It's quick, but immediately. And this Banyuk uh, Sickness Eater Heavy as well. I'm not going to equip it. And we, we can sell the blue one. There we go. Great. All right. Let's go to the crafting menu. Also, um, what I've did off camera, I got one more better fire coil and I got a new damage mod. I had a blue one before on this one, 21%. And uh, yeah, I got a better one now, so that's good as well. But um, for these, let's see. This is the um, stealth suit. I don't have any stealth modification yet, but that's fine. I'm doing it like this for now, and for the Sickness Eater, of course. The two blues, they will be substituted by much better. Alright, great! Alright, nice. Let's, um, let's do this quest. Let's go to the Devil's Thirst camp and let's take that one over. First we're going to do the Vantage Point, and let's fast travel over here. All right, we are there. It is probably going to rain. Don't ask me why. <laughs> um, I've been practicing this and each time I'm here, it starts to rain. Maybe now, maybe a bit later. I do need a friend though, it's handy. Only for travel, but he's a good uh, companion to defend yourself. All right. Let's see where is this vantage point? Should be close. I can guess why there was a vantage here. Well, let's see why it, there was a vantage here. The pocket shit storm tour, day three. I was 13. I broke in and vandalized this place. All right. Let's take out this guy first. Excellent. Then... There's one guy on the corner, right over there. Um, I'm going to wait for him to go all the way up there, and he walks back. Then we'll take this guy out. Then there should be another guy somewhere... Over there. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want them to be alerted yet. Right, this guy is walking back, that's great. Got him. Got him. We could do is take him out. Mm. 
And then... He should stop. Oh! Oh, just... I think I hit him in his arm. <laughs> Alright, and give it this dude over here. Alright. If he sounds the alarm, it's fine. Calm. He probably will. It doesn't really matter. He didn't see me. Let's talk to Neil. If they hit the alarm, it's no problem. We have just more targets to kill. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you came. You're glad? Why? Call it a shared interest. And call me Nil. Look there, those old rocks. A bandit clan squats under them. Disturb the rocks and they'll come wriggling out. Worms that they are. Bandits. Why have they come here? The Nora are in trouble. And rumors spread like blood. With no braves to guard the border, killers hunger for sport to slip right through. My partner and I shadowed these scum for days. Good tracker, but he went on ahead without me. We talked about this kind of behavior. Still, I understand. Leave it too long, your fingers itch for the bowstring. Say, how about you and I work together? Kill them all. I don't know you, and I have no reason to trust you. Trust is a rare egg to find, isn't it? I'm just a traveler. With a bow, concern about the state of these lands, and a missing partner. I don't think you're just anything at all. Hmm. Let me put it another way. Are you a bandit? <sighs> of course not. Then you have nothing to fear from you. All right. Someone has to stop them from hurting others. And we will. We'll stop them from doing anything. Safe screen, my wife. Go ahead and take the lead. I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. That's the alarm. Let them sound it and more will come running. Oh, they haven't yet. It's a gift. And if you're the heroic kind who needs a little extra, there's the captives. All right then. I thought I just saw a dude walking out. Let's Got see. someone over here. Doesn't look good. I don't want them to use it. All right, no one is really close right now. The rain stopping, that would be just so awesome. Now in this tower, it's so good. Yeah, let's go in here. Oh no, 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 oops. All right, let's take a few of these bandits. I would love to for them to trigger the alarm, but I don't think it's gonna happen anymore. Let's see if we can shoot one of them. There we go. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's pretty damn hard to, uh, there we go. To shoot past the wood, that's fine. Let's see, can I have this guy over there? Alright, let's go, Neil's with us. 
And we're not going with the three of us. So good. It's right behind you. <laughs> All right. So we got up here in the tower. Damn. Uh, we have a guy over here. Let's see if we can take this fool. There we go. Oh, there's one coming up. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Oh. Oh. That probably was new. Get him, boy. <laughs> yeah. Works like a charm. Maybe the sound the alarm was will be awesome. Who knows? I think it's time to head in. They're giving up. They're giving up, really. I don't think so, but sure. Oh no! Why? There, the bandits' captives. Let's call our buddy. And two, three more. All right, this should be cool. Oh, don't be in my way. All right. You're coming with me. Free him. It's all right. I'm getting you out. Free him. Okay, so where are they? One up here. One there. Should be another one somewhere. Sorry, dude. <laughs> One more. Shall we give him uh, a, a better death? There he is. Seeker. Nice. May I speak with you? Of course you can, Joan. I'm honored. I... All mother be praised. Are you alright? Is there something you need? Yes. My friends and I watched you clear the bandits out of this camp. We're glad. They would steal from us. Chase us through the night laughing. We're outcasts, not braves. Almost defenseless. How did you come to be an outcast? I was a fool. I refused to do what I was told. Never went hunting when I could sit under a tree instead. I argued with my family every step, picked fights with other braves. One day, such a fight grew fierce. I got a lucky hit, an unlucky one. He went down, and there was no one left to speak for me. I deserved to be an outcast. You seem different from the person you describe. I hope to be. How did you all come to be here together? You wonder how we speak to each other when the law forbids it. 
But what hope do we have here, outside the embrace, alone? I wasn't judging you. I was an outcast once. Forgive me. You're right to ask. I convinced them to speak. I told them we were only sentenced to be outcast, not to die out here. An intelligent approach. Where did you all come from? Some of us have wandered the sacred lands for years. As for me, the village I grew up in was burned in the Red Raids. I'm ashamed I wasn't there to protect them, but I was an outcast long before the Karja came. We are all outcasts, but we need to stay together to survive. This camp we once hated could serve us well now. Would you let us stay here, even if it flies in the face of the Matriarch's laws? Of course, by all means. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say so. You... you're an inspiration to us. Thank you. You're welcome, dude. All right, uh, we're almost done. We got some loot right over here. Um, motherless girl. Excuse me. Back on her feet. That's right. What the hell was that? <laughs> no room. All right. Cool. Let's uh, talk to Neil to finish the quest. Let's go, buddy. Feels good, doesn't it? Hold it inside you one last breath. Then let it out. Ugh. I didn't find your partner. They killed him. And I hardly feel surprised. He was already getting cocky when we carved through the last band of camp. I thought you and I were going to only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle. Just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Yours doesn't. You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you, and the way you hold your bow. I said a concerned cat. I was a soldier, but I was a soldier longer than there was a war if you followed. And where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I belong. So I make opportunities to find it. It's like coming home. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? You know, they don't get that look in their eyes. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They live filthy lives, so they have to die that way too. So you hunt them down to help others? No, no. For school. I can't wait for wars anymore. Life's too short and the thrill of death too sharp. If you kill a tribesman, there'll be retribution. Hunt a boar, they complain if you waste the meat. But bandits, they're vicious. They always put up a fight, and no one cares if you kill them. I'm not sure who's worse, you or them. We're standing, they're not. Clearly, we were better. We're done here. Here? I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't let that infection set in, would you? I'm sure we'll meet again. Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, we'll know it by heart. Well, he's uh, odd. <laughs> he's a really strange dude. Alright, that's for this uh, episode. Thank you very much for watching. The next episode's gonna be great because we are going to go to the cauldron. That's right. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I hope you have a good Easter. It's second Easter day today. And um, yeah, have a good week. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.